Hey everyone, I'm Godly Polo, back with some more League things. Today we're going to be doing kind of a different video. It's not going to be focused on uh, builds, it's going to be more focused on how to track your marks when you play Kindred. So yeah, I know this video has been done before, I'm well aware Forrest has made this video, but when I stream, this is one of the most popular questions asked, so I'm going to make my own video for the people who don't watch Forrest. Simple as that. Um, so, for a little cheat sheet at the bottom left, I put up your mark tier sheet. In case you guys don't know what your mark tiers are, where your camp can spawn as your mark, it's only in the enemy jungle and they spawn in certain sets based on the amount of marks you have. So, if you're unsure of where they can spawn, there's the list right there, bottom left. I highly recommend checking it out and memorizing it if you're gonna play Kindred. It's a very useful piece of information. Oh, okay, I was gonna go for the invade clear, but it looks like. He went for a level 2 gank with uh, only killing one camp. Interesting, interesting. What we might do here is we might try to go for a steal and see what we can do. I don't know if this will actually work out or not, but it could be kind of fun. Could be interesting. Let, let, let's see if we can go for a little bit of a steal. So we can smite at 410. Uh, he definitely has smite up. So one more. There we go. We stole his red from him. He has no uh, no red, no way to fight right this second. He's got his abilities on cooldown. We're going to just keep going ham. Maybe we burn a flash. All right, that's fine. We got him out of there. We'll take it. We'll take it. We stole his red buff. That's all we really care about. What do you, what do you want? I mean, you're still going to die, Poppy, or you're going to flash. One of the two. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what her plan was there, but I'll take it, I'll take it. Alright, so the first mark's actually about to spawn pretty soon, and we don't have the uh, the most XP in the world. We actually need to go clear one more camp, because if we don't clear one more camp, we're actually going to not be level 3 for the mark. We're going to hope that the mark is topside. That's the goal, is just kind of hope and pray that we got lucky with RNG today, and we're going to say, is going to be up here. Is going to be our mark, and we're going to get it. So... The first mark you can't actually accurately predict because it's always RNG. There's always a chance for it to be on two different locations because two scuttles spawn at the exact same time. And you can't force it to be one scuttle because you can't kill one before the other. So, first mark, it's not accurate, but we're going to get this first mark right now. And now we can actually take the time to start predicting where the mark is. So, if we go in the jungle here... And we check and we see that his Gromp is alive. Odds are his Raptors are dead because he was bot side, but they might not be. But because we know his Gromp's alive, what we can do is we can farm up his jungle camps right here. And then we can kind of hope that the Gromp gets marked. Because when you have one to three marks, the only place your mark can be is on the Scuttle Crabs, the Gromp, and the Raptors. And because we already killed the Scuttle Crabs, we know that both should be dead. If he didn't kill a Scuttle Crab bot side, I'd be surprised. But we know that both should be dead. So realistically, if both scuttles are dead, then it can either be the Gromp or Raptors. And because he was bot side, I'm going to assume he killed the uh, the Raptors. So we're going to hope that our mark spawns here. I'm going to start it now. And there we go. See, there you go. It's pretty simple to keep track of that. I was going to say I was going to start it until it's marked. And because you can keep track of that, you'll know exactly where your mark's going to be. There's a good chance that uh, J4 might have actually also went and took my blue. So what I'm going to do now though is I'm going to go back and we're going to start heading towards the bottom side of the map because we want to put pressure on down there anyways and we're going to see what happens from there. Let's see, Akali seems like she's doing good mid. Draven's getting really fed. He actually killed one of each person down there already. Plus Tifiora got that kill on the poppy. So overall our laners are doing amazing right now from what we see. There's the J4 right there. He's actually under leveled right now. So that's pretty dope for us. Now we need to see where the next uh, the next scuttle is going to spawn to get the mark. Unless he hasn't killed the bot side scuttle. But odds are that thing should be dead. So another scuttle should be spawning here soon. If not, then it will be my next mark. Because, oh no, I take it back. So he didn't kill the scuttle and he didn't kill the raptor. That actually leaves us with a lot more information and opportunity for marks then. So first what we do is we're going to come over here and we can see now that he killed the raptors. With the raptors being gone, we just zone him off the bottom side of the river. Because if we zone him off this bottom side river, this scuttle right here becomes my mark. So we're going to leave the scuttle alive for a second. We're going to come kill blue. Then we're going to go run back to that scuttle. It will 100% be your next mark because we know the Grom's dead and it's not going to respawn yet. It hasn't been two and a half minutes. And we know he just killed his raptors. So this is the only possible spot your mark can spawn. And being the only possible spot your mark can spawn means that you can start working on it. You can get it low and you can be ready to instantly spawn kill it the second that it's your mark. 
looking like they might get another double kill down bot lane maybe not maybe oh no yep they got the double all right come on scuttle there you go see there's your next mark and uh, perfect that's exactly what we need to see happening i want to go kill this mid laner but it's like how do you how do you kill a vlad well i mean if he pulls you can kind of kill a vlad all right well that was easy <laughs> that was kind of easy he pulled right in front of me the second i said how do you kill a vlad so it was just kind of like well you kill a vlad by doing that so the next mark though is going to spawn up at the gromp here because we know the timer on all three of these camps we can just simply rotate back and forth between all three of them and we can get the marks whenever we really want or at least in a strategic order so we can start heading back up there like right now too and we will get the mark that spawns on the gromp let's head on up here now we'll start going oh bot lane got a big shutdown three kills worth of gold on the draven right there Plus the shutdown on the uh, Shackle. Ooh. All right, so Gromp just spawned. It will be marked here in a moment. There you go. There's the Gromp mark. As I said, you can keep track of it. And we're going to go in for the invade. This is a little bit riskier just because the enemy team is going to have pressure now, especially with my Fio dying. But we're still going to go for it simply because I don't believe J4 is going to show up right here. And I think he'll go bot for his red first before that. Now we got our fourth mark, so our tier is upgraded, so we actually have to focus on different camps now. So with having four to seven marks, you have to focus on the enemy red buff, blue buff, and then the wolves and krugs. So it has one more option, which makes it a little bit harder to keep in. But because we killed the blue and we killed the red, we have two camps eliminated that we have the timer for right here. You can tell how long it's going to require for that. So we got four minutes where we only have two camp options. That can be our mark. With those timers and us seeing J4 bot lane, what we're going to make the assumption for is that the wolves are still alive. So we're going to start heading over towards the wolves right now because odds are this, this wolf camp is going to be our mark. Odds are it's alive. If it's not alive, well, that's a little bit unfortunate, but there's, yep, there you go. See, there's the wolf camp being our mark and easy. So now that we're getting the wolf camp marked, that leaves us to having one more place being possible to be marked and the next place that's possible to be marked would be his Krugs. His Krugs odds are, are dead because he was bot side. So what we're going to do though is we're going to start rotating over there because they'll respawn faster than his wolves will. So we'll bully his bot side jungle. Pretty much how we're going to go about that. As long as we bully the bot side jungle, we should be okay. Do you want to fight or something, my man? <laughs> would you pull for him? I wasn't going to even do it. <laughs> oh my god, this dude is so panicky. Anyways, so we can actually see that his raptors are alive and I think we'll take the raptors just because we want to bully the J4 even harder. He's extremely behind right now, like massively behind. Although their team fight, they can still come back in the game simply because J4 and Vlad team fight is insane. If he get, if J4 gets a big ult off, then Vlad gets a free big ult off and oh man does it, it adds up man, it, it adds up. I think we're going to mark the Jin because he's been dying a bunch and we're going to wait on these Krugs to respawn here soon. Oh, oh, okay. I think we're going to go on a dive really quick. So we just saw J4 went to my Krugs, and because J4 went to my Krugs, we're going to go over here. And this should be a free kill on the Jin. We get another mark there. Easy, easy. These Krugs should be respawning any second now. And once the Krugs are alive, we get another kill. Or not another kill, another mark. And let's wait on for it. Come on, come on. Let's see it. You know you want to. There you go. And we'll kill the small one until the big one decides to be marked. Sometimes this takes a little bit longer to be marked. There you go. There's the mark. Sometimes the camps take a little bit longer than they should to get marked. I don't exactly know why because it's been obviously a lot longer than 40 seconds since the last one died. don't know what causes that, but I mean, it's not a big deal in the first place. Oh no. Hi, J4. So we got the mark that we wanted. Now we're going to walk away and we're going to get on out of here. How's top lane going? Looks like they're okay. We'll grab the scuttle and then we'll farm our blue side jungle up. After we farm our blue side jungle up, we're going to go back. We'll get our probably blood razor in this game because Poppy, Blitz, and J4 can all be rather tanky. And J4 is building what looks to be tank since he's building Cinder Hulk. So yeah. Now that we have seven marks though, we're going to obviously know what's coming up next. The next camp that's going to be my mark is the wolves again. It, they're going to respawn before the buffs. So what we're going to do here is we're going to kill our blue side jungle. We're going to back. Then we're going to head straight to the red buff. Because the red buff will most likely be the mark after that. Unless he doesn't kill it fast enough. To kill the wolves fast enough. But there's the wolf camp right now. And there's 50 seconds until red spawns. So. 
if he plays a, like a normal player would be who's trying to farm and catch back up in the game this wolf camp is dead with the wolf camp being dead then we should be okay to just rotate down and grab these camps oh j4 actually got a big shutdown himself he got a 500 gold shutdown let's start heading towards the red buff though there's another 28 seconds until the red spawns we gotta get on over there we do know he's at the wolves now, so we just have to delay him from killing red for a moment. Because if we delay him from killing red, then yes, it will 100% be my mark. But if we don't delay him from killing red, then it won't have enough time to alternate between the two. So there we go, the mark just disappeared off the map. And we're going to head on over here to this red. Like I said, we're going to have to fight him, distract him if we need to. There's the J4 right there. So this is actually where things become a little bit complicated because if I kill the J4, then I'm going to wind up not getting the mark. Oh, oh, okay. Well, they might need my help. By... No, they're fine. Okay, we delayed them long enough. I'm just going to come over. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go over there. If you need to. I'm like, I'm like running back and forth. I want to do this slowly because it will be my mark. It's just there's a certain like, I there's a certain period I can wait. There we go. There we go. Alright, so we did see that J4 is under the turret. We get a ninth mark right there. And at this point, your marks can only spawn on epic monsters, so my mark's gonna spawn on Baron or Dragon. The only thing you can really do to alter the RNG on that is, realistically, I can just come walk up over here. And I can kill this Drake. And when I kill this Dragon, I could... It pretty much then just, uh... It, it then eliminates the chance for the Dragon to be my mark, and it leaves it for the Herald, which really not a big deal either way we're already at nine marks though at 12 minutes so when you keep track of your marks and stuff like this you can actually go ham and you can get a lot of gold we'll go towards the herald now because like i said it will guarantee 100 percent money back be our next mark there's nowhere else possible on the map there's the mark on it right now so we'll just head down there and we'll get big number 10 after we get big number 10 maybe we'll go gank poppy or vlad see how that happens and see what happens there He's actually doing considerably well given the circumstances too, like the Jin of how fed Draven got. He's doing considerably well, so I'm actually really impressed with that. Because normally once a Draven gets fed in the lane, it's like almost impossible to do anything. Looking like though they're fighting the Draven pretty heavily, Draven does manage to die. We do know that J4 is on the bot side, so we're going to get this camp. No point in not getting it. Once we have this... We can then just simply go to the other side and wait for Drake to respawn if we really want another uh, another mark. But either one works. Kill this. Easy, easy. And is dead. There's our 10th mark. J4 is coming up the river right here. We're going to jump on him. We're going to... Oh, we're getting 2v1. Ah, uh, help me. No. No. They actually had a ward in that bush right there. I was not prepared for Vlad to have a ward in that bush. It's alright. Akali should be able to kill them with Fiora. Should. Maybe not. Okay, yeah, they're fine. Easy. Hey, we actually got another mark off that anyways. It was, we still got the assist. Dope. So we got mark number 11, boys. We're in it to feed it. <laughs> Game is pretty set, though, and pretty done. I know people don't like me uploading 15-minute games and stuff, but I think this is actually just a good game to just showcase how to accurately find and farm your marks. Odds are they're going to forfeit. If they don't forfeit, cool. I mean, we can go for some kills and some score now, but I just wanted to show you guys that because it's one of the most like commonly asked questions is, how do you know where your mark's going to be? Where's your mark? How do you know this? How did you know that was going to be your mark? And it, it's like, yeah, here you go, right here. This is This is what you do. All right, kill this. We'll see if they forfeit. They might, they might not. Who knows what's going to happen here. Jin's doing really well down here, though. I think we're going to mark the Jin and try to go for some kills on him bot lane. Uh, Draven might actually get fourth shot. Ooh, Dravy poo. I've got so much range right now that I can do things like this. I'm still going to most likely wind up dead if I can't break tower aggro. But, eh, actually, no, we didn't wind up dead. Dope. It's very risky to go for plays like that, but because I'm so confident, I just do it. I think that's Blitz who just predatored away. I don't know why their support Blitz has predator, but he does, but I respect it. I guess he was maybe thinking of going for all the roams, but that works. That works. We got our 12th mark, and we're doing a strongly, strongly well. Another Drake spawns in two minutes too, which means there's a guaranteed another mark. 
and we get that kill. Easy, easy. Oh, oh, block for me, please. Block for me, please. No, 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 they got me. All right, that's fine. We got the turrets, though. That's all we really wanted. Ooh, hoo -hoo, shackle. Oh, no, shackle. Oh, is your box gonna arm in time? Oh, it didn't arm in time. Poor man, poor, poor man. I feel bad for him. I feel bad. Poor little shackle. Okay. I hate. I feel bad for that Jin too, because I know how obnoxious it is to play against shackle boxes, man. Those things are annoying. Those things are so freaking annoying, man. But it's all right. It's all right. The Jin's actually dying though a bunch, given how fed he is, which isn't good. Looks like they might even kill the Akali right here too. She might be able to get out. She's got her R. Yeah, she's okay. Having her R made it easy for her to get out. I don't think there's any way for them to catch back up to her. So, pretty good. We'll just get here now and we're gonna get our blue. We are about ready for the Drake. They actually did manage to catch her though, which is really interesting to me. I didn't think they would actually catch her. Alright, let's see. Can we fight? Oh yeah, we can fight this. Get a couple kills here. And, oh, he's not dead. He actually had heal. All right, well, let's kill Poppy. I've got a uh, cleaver, so we take away some of her armor, plus we have the true damage, so she should be done, though. So. Yeah. That was close to killing that Jin, but he actually had heal there. We're going to get the streak, though, because it will be mark number 13. Special thing about mark number 13 is you get Caitlyn auto attack range, which is 650 auto attack range. So it's 18 minutes in the game, and I'm going to have 650 auto range. That's actually kind of insane to me. 650 auto attack range at 18 minutes. Like, what? Oh, what'd you say? <laughs> Can you repeat that one? I want to change my mark, but I don't want to change it just yet because I feel like now we have a chance to kill J4. We'll stand right here just to be sure. He flags away, but he still dies. We get the mark, hopefully. Is he not going to actually die? Wait, is he actually not? Wow, we didn't kill J4, we killed Jin. I thought the burn on J4 would have been enough. Nope. I underestimated my own damage. Oh. Hey, don't do that. Oh, the turret did enough damage, though. <laughs> Alright, that works, though. So. So we're just going to go for Hurricane this game just because I like to get a bunch of, uh, I like to farm a bunch as you could probably tell, so Hurricane's not too bad. Uh, really sad we didn't kill J4, we left him with like 1 HP there. I think I'm actually going to mark Blitz now though because I think Blitz is easier than the ones to kill. So I think that's what we'll do. J4 is back in the game though, slightly tanky, slightly good. Uh, he might actually kill her. Oh, oh, they might actually, oh, they did get the Akali, that's not good. We're actually feeding a lot of gold, we can make this game a lot harder on ourselves than we need to. Baron's coming up here soon, so we'll probably grab ourselves a nice Baron Nasher here. And uh, that will be a mark. I'm pretty sure me and Draven could honestly duo Baron with how strong each one of us is. Like, I'm almost 100 TS up on my laner. Draven's actually starting to fall behind a little bit, the Jin. I wouldn't be surprised because of the shutdowns that Jin has if he was actually ahead. I really wish Draven didn't take that, but I mean, he is technically a fed Draven, so he's going to take it. But I really wouldn't be surprised if... Uh, If Jin's actually ahead of Draven in gold. I really wouldn't be surprised about that. Alright, we can actually go and finish this. So we might as well go get the Hurricane before the next fight. And then we'll probably just do Bork or something. Alright, from this moment on, we have obviously one opportunity for a mark. In two minutes, there will be something else. But for now, it's just Baron. The dude just went and warded Baron from the looks of it and that's okay with us we don't really care about that it's kind of strange how because he uh we i mean we've got the exact same kp but because we have the exact same kp even with me having 100 cs up it's kind of strange that he um he's only slightly under leveled you'd think that they'd be further under leveled when somebody has almost 100 kp up on you Hey, don't 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 start chasing chasing Chico. Don't be don't be doing that. All 
I really want to jump on this Blitz. I guess we'll just kill Jin instead. It's not a big deal. Get a nice Jin kill, and that's what I love about all the marks that I have, is you saw that auto range right there. There's so many opportunities of what you can do with that. Like, it's so hard to get away from it. It's why Caitlyn's so annoying, but when you have Kindred's kit with Caitlyn's range, it's freaking ridiculously fun, man. I love it so much. Crap. Am I gonna be able to... Yes, there we go. We actually got the 14th mark. Please don't kill me this time, turret. Okay, I was like, don't do it to me again. We actually got big mark number 14, boys. We're in it to win it. Oh god, he wants to kill. Nope. Oh my god, I actually got out alive. Oh man, that was close. That was close. We'll get this blue buff, then I think we're gonna back. How much damage do we do here? So our W does 15.5% current health damage, our E does 15% missing health damage. That's that's pretty gnarly, man. That's that's pretty gnarly. I, I like it, I like it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, don't die, Shekel. Don't die, Shekel, Shekel. Uh-oh, Shekel died. That's not good. Who wants to help me with Baron? Anybody? Anybody want to help me with Baron? I kind of want 15 marks, not going to lie to you. Alright, they actually could probably end the game. I don't know, it's two of them, they're, they're pretty low on mana. Hmm, maybe they couldn't. Let's just go do Baron, boys. Let's just go do Baron. I'm gonna go to Baron. I'm gonna see if I can solo it. I probably can't, but we're gonna try it anyways. Let's see what happens. Yeah, how much attack speed do I get to? I also get 95% bonus attack speed for my Q right now. That's actually so crazy to have that much. Unfortunately, if this gets unmarked and, uh, and also they kill the Drake, which this did get unmarked, if they kill the Drake without me, then that actually is another missed out opportunity on a mark, which sucks because we took too long to get there, so it became unmarked. It does get unmarked after a while. It does suck, but it happens. Oh. Kill some Poppy. And Poppy is done diddly dead. Let's go over here and let's grab this 15th mark now. And with the 15th mark, we're one more mark away from actually having another attack range increase, which would be pretty dope. Kind of sad that I didn't have Poppy mark there, but it's all right. And there we go. There's big mark number 15. They have to be careful here because even though they're fed, there is always the chance that Draven can be Draven and we, we gotta be, or not Draven, Jin can be Jin. Okay, never mind, I take it back. He's dead. Alright, so yeah, I hope this video actually helps some of you guys, especially those of you who are like newer to Kindred. I know a lot of you guys like have been asking this and you've been very curious about it and you've always wondered, what does, like, how do you do this? What does this? How, 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 how? I get asked that so many times. So I hope this helps you guys. Let me know down below if it did. Cheat sheet is at the bottom left as per usual. And I don't know why I said as per usual. But if you like this, feel free to leave a like. Sub. Um, hit the bell if you want my notifications. On Sunday, this Sunday, I will be doing another 24-hour stream. The Sunday being the week of, let me check the date. I'll be doing another 24-hour stream on my YouTube on October 13th, so I hope you guys all stop by and have fun, but uh, see you guys. Have a good day.